we're back with more UFO news, UFO videos, excellent UFO stuff happening right now in the world with an exclusive breaking news of a CIA retrieval program. Daily Mail did update it because they had to confirm the sources. The exclusive CIA secret office has been conducting UFO crash retrieval missions on at least nine crash sites around the world, Whistleblower reveals. Not only that, I think it's important because we have some Republicans now that are actually trying to fight the uh, UAP, what is it? UAP Disclosure Act. That's exactly what it's called. Um, and now, right after they're trying to deny it and push back, the whistleblowers are coming out, more sources are coming out, talking about the retrieval programs and the ships we've retrieved. We've appa apparently, we've retrieved nine ships, two of them intact. A secretive CIA office has been coordinating the retrieval of crashed, USO, crashed UFOs around the world for decades. Multiple sources now tell Daily Mail. So we have a crash retrieval program. One source said that at least nine apparent non-human, and they've specified non-human craft, have been recovered by the US government. Some wrecked from a crash and two completely intact. I think it's important that we highlight, and we have been lately, but we highlight non-human craft um, as David Grush recently was talking about how they could be interdimensional, how they're changing the verbiage to make sure that we're capturing um, the right uh, entity or like right language for these entities. They could be, they, they say non-human biologics because um, yeah, they could be interdimensional. Uh, they were, there have been talks about them coming from underwater. Three sources briefed on those alleged top secret operations told DailyMail.com that the Office of Global Access, a wing of the Central Intelligence Agency's Science and Technology Directorate, damn, has played a central role since 2003 in orchestrating the collection of what could be alien spacecraft. Now, again, I was saying that um, uh, uh, Grateful1509, welcome. The recap is we're just starting with this article of us retrieving nine UFOs to intact. Um, I think it's important, again, that this comes out after Republicans started fighting against the UAP Disclosure Act uh, because I feel denying the people the truth because the truth could be mundane, right? If, it, if, if it's the way that they say it might not be UFOs, it might be some mundane truth. By denying us access to the truth, it's almost as if they're admitting guilt. And now they're not just denying access to the truth, but information is leaking as the whistleblowers are getting into more detail. So I feel like we're getting disclosure regardless, and it's going to be sloppy as hell. You also get ready. The three sources who spoke on the condition of anonymity, of course, to avoid reprisals because that's been happening, have all been briefed by individuals involved in those alleged UFO retrieval missions. So they're getting information from the people that are actually retrieving and touching these UFO. Though the shocking claims sound like they come from science fiction novel, they do not, but we've been conditioned to think that way. Uh, they are part of a growing body of evidence, thank you, suggesting that the US government could indeed be hiding advanced vehicles that are not made by humans. The whistleblowers are uh, not playing any games right now. Former top intelligence officer David Grush told, oh, we know this already, um, Congress as much in a explosive public hearing in July. The same month, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer sponsored an extraordinary bill to allow disclosure of recovered technologies of unknown origin and biological evidence of, again, non-human intelligence, which is now passed in the Senate. Sources who spoke to DailyMail.com shed light on how the CIA has allegedly coordinated the secret recovery and storage of these alleged crashed or landed UFOs. This is a quote. There are at least nine vehicles. There were different circumstances for different ones. One source briefed, UFO, briefed by UFO program insiders told DailyMail.com, it has to do with the physical condition they're in. If it crashes, there's a lot of damage done. Others, two of them specifically, are completely intact. Now that makes me wonder, right, if a lot of them are damaged or if they're all damaged when they crash. If crashes means there's a lot of damage done, 
then the two that are completely intact, did they land and we find them? Did they give them to us? Was there a trade? Like, what is really going on here? I feel like that might be another another reason they don't want to disclose information. Maybe there's been some kind of trade going on that they don't want everyone to know about. The source said that the CIA has a system in place that can discern UFOs while they're cloaked. This I found very interesting. So we have a way to find cloaked UFOs. And that if non-human craft land, crash, or are brought down to Earth, Again, very, very specific wording here, right? Um, special military units are sent to try and salvage the wreckage. What does it mean? All right, so if an on-human craft lands, okay, they're coming here. You're still going to try and get their stuff while they landed because they came here. A crash makes total sense. Or are brought down to earth is very specific wording for me that I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Again, it makes me think of like a trade or because what if they're giving us something, if it's brought down to earth, what are they getting in return? What are we giving them back? It, granted, it could just be like, oh, yeah, go to like our nuclear weapons and our volcanoes and like sap energy if you need it or use the sun or something. I don't know. Like, we don't know what the hell's going on, but it, it makes me feel like there is a trade going on that we don't know about. And I don't feel comfortable with that. Another source with knowledge of the OGA's role said that they specialize in allowing the U.S. military to secretly access areas around the world where they would usually be denied, for example, behind enemy lines. So this is definitely global is what this means. This means that even our enemies, when something like this crashes, they're like, oh, no, yeah, guys, like you can come in here and, and look at this, too. That that means that this is well above and beyond all of us, in my opinion, because enemies don't usually work together. They are basically a facilitator for people to get in and out of countries, the source said. They are very clever at being able to get anywhere in the world that they want to. Multiple sources briefed on the OGA's activity told DailyMail.com that most of its operations involve more conventional retrieval missions, such as stray nuclear weapons, down satellites, or adversaries technology. Interesting. But they claimed some missions coordinated by the OGA have involved the retrieval of UFOs. The task at hand is simply to get, in, get it into custody and protect the secrecy of it. One source said, the actual physical retrieval is by the military, but it's not kept under military control because they have to keep too many records. So they start moving it out fairly quickly into private hands. There we go into, um, you know, Lockheed Skunk work and all of these private contractors that are probably the ones that are actually documents published by the national archives and record administration let's see if it goes to the uh, in december of 2016 showed that the oga was one of 56 offices in the cia with its chief and deputy making up two of the total 286 director level officials in the spy agency an unclassified organization chart published by the CIA in October of 2015 lists the OGA among nine offices in the science and technology wing of the agency. All right, let's see. Oh, it actually did bring us here. All right, I'm gonna have this linked. Give me one second. I'm gonna link this in the description for you guys so you guys can view it as well. All right, an unclassified organization chart published. Uh, yes, we caught that already. Late CIA expert Jeffrey Richelson wrote a 2016 book on the agency that the OGA was established in 2003 and cited a CIA description that it integrates analysis technology and trade craft to attack the most difficult targets and to provide worldwide collection capability. Uh, that's something new that we haven't seen. Um, I think that the big thing is we know all of this information. Oh, we know a lot of it. But to have specific numbers, to know for a fact we have at least nine to know for a fact that two are fully intact, uh, meaning they are likely fully functional. Uh, we've had quite a few whistleblowers throughout time, you know, talk about the craft and working on craft and stuff like that. This may be one, or this may, these may be two craft that are used in exercise. Because remember, some of these are ours. It's so out of hand, because I think the other thing that's very important to notice about um, how about all of this it's not just oh they're hiding your folds it's like you said these private contractors like 
we are out of control. We have no control over anything. Like, everything's just willy-nilly willy -nilly pell mell How are you telling the government that they don't have access to info? It's so stupid. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so, so much for tuning in today. Um, if you want to help out the channel, smash that like and subscribe because it's free. Uh, if you want to further support the channel, uh, feel free. We have awesome memberships, as I said. Do not feel obligated to join. It just really supports the channel and gets you guys amazing perks like these awesome badges and super funny emojis. Genuinely though, I love you guys. I love chatting with you guys. You guys make this so fun and I appreciate all of you so, so much. Uh, we might go live a little bit later with some gaming. Y'all are just so fun. I love the conversation. I love the discussion. The truth is out there. Keep your eyes on the skies. And if you want to send me any videos, check out the email in the description.